Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and I'm so so excited for today's video because I am doing a December journal with me for my bookish and holiday spreads and I absolutely adore bullet journaling. I've been getting more into it ever since this spring and I've done a few videos on my channel. You can go check out my beginner's guide to bullet journaling where I kind of compiled everything that I've learned so far being a newbie going into bullet journaling as well as I did in October plan with me. So I will have those linked in the description below and you can go watch those if you are interested. But today I am going through the spreads that I did for my December bullet journal. I always have a lot of fun with bullet journaling and I find that's a really great time for me to catch up on booktube videos or just listen to music that I am digging and it's just so relaxing and it really lets me be creative and I've never had a hobby like this before where it let my creativity flow. So I'm just really happy that I've been able to get into it and to share my spreads with you guys. So with that being said, let's get on into these spreads. So to start out, I'm just using some washi tape on the borders that I got on Amazon. Really, really cute winter patterns. I will leave them linked in the description below. I do tend to flip through a lot to find what I did previously and use that as a reference. Here I'm doing a type of calligraphy that I saw on Pinterest and really the way that I learn calligraphy is just looking at it. And this is a Tombow pen here to go over in marker. I'm using the Sakura Micron pen, which I just got and I really love. And here is the part where I write out all of my reads and I use a silver gel pen from Jelly Roll, a gold gel pen from this brand called Buxom that I found on Amazon, and a pink Muji pen. My wrap up should be up on Friday. I will leave it linked in the description once it's up if you wanna check out the reasoning behind why I gave all these books what I did. The camera cut out here for a little bit, but now basically I'm drawing the trees that are on the tape and I just did this with my black pen and then I used silver and gold to accent. On the bottom here, I'm drawing a bunch of trees and basically I found some good designs for just line drawings of trees on Pinterest. I will link my reading journal Pinterest board. Basically, if I find anything on Pinterest that inspires me in my journal, I will put that on the board so you can see it where I get a lot of my inspiration from. Next is my December cover page. I got this cardstock of this beautiful sparkly blue at Michael's craft store. They have a lot of cute stuff and then I just ripped it along the edge to get this ripped effect. I'm using a glue stick here but I just recently got glue dots. I'll leave them linked below. I actually started using them today for a different spread and I just think they work so much better than glue sticks. As you can see here, I'm really trying to squeeze my journal shut to get this page to stay on and even then it's not great. The glue dots work so much better and I'm now converted. And again, this calligraphy is something that I found on Pinterest and I just looked at it and tried to emulate it. I'm not good at just knowing how to write things in my head. The way that I learn best with calligraphy is just copying. And now I'm going over it with a Tombow brush pen in black. I 
I am definitely the type of person that needs to go over everything in pencil first and then go over it with marker because otherwise I make way too many mistakes. adore the way that this spread came out. It just put me in such a Christmassy mood. Here I'm using another washi tape that I got in that winter washi tape set and it is a snowflake pattern which of course I think fit perfectly with the theme. And again, when doing this style calligraphy, I have to look up on Pinterest other examples of people writing December and fancy writing and kind of copy them to make it look nice. I'm just using a Tombow pen to highlight the days of the week bar. I really love the look of a brush pen over the black marker. And it doesn't smudge or anything, so it always comes out pretty nicely. Next, I am doing my new releases and TBR and I am starting off again with another one of the washi tapes from that set. This one is like snowflake festive houses. And then I have this silver tape that is sparkly that I have from Michaels and I have them in a bunch of different colors. I absolutely love them. And I went for the double washi tape look. It seems like the past few months there's been so many new releases that I've been interested in in YA and other books and in December it just slows down completely. There's not much that is coming out this month probably because of the holidays. When I filmed this I really wasn't sure what I wanted to read in December so I only put one book on my TBR but my December TBR is now up on my channel so please check that out. That actually has books that I want to read unlike the spread where I didn't know what I wanted to read. And on the bottom, I'm just doing this cool little crisscross snowflake pattern that I saw on Pinterest. So my camera cut out at this point, but I did draw a snowflake and here I am drawing another snowflake. And this is the Tombow play color to marker which has two ends, a thicker end and a thinner end. And again here I am gluing on the cardstock. Would highly recommend the glue dots for these types of activities because it works so much better. And this is my day's red spread. It's so much fun doing all these lines, especially when you speed it up, it just looks so much fun. And 
for my last spread, I am doing a little quilt page that is holiday themed. I mix it up in terms of the different types of calligraphy and it kind of has this slanted look. Unfortunately, my camera kind of cut out me drawing on the bottom. It, my setup is a little bit complicated, so sometimes I don't quite see that I'm missing something, but I am just going to try continually improving that in the future. But I do love this little piece of mistletoe here at the bottom. All right, and here is the final flip through of everything that I did today. And that was it for my December spreads. I had so much fun. It really got me in the mood to be Christmassy and just the snow and everything. Like I love this time of year when it's Christmas and I just love this winter mood. It's just amazing and joyful. And please let me know down below if you have done any December spreads that are similar or if you wanna use any of these spreads in your journal. And until the next time, have some fun, read some books, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.